Welcome back, grade twos. We're going to continue talking about time today. Okay, and so I hope you've been enjoying looking at things um, and counting the time. And so we are going to start with the time that I have on the clock today. Can anybody tell me what time we have? Well, we can look at our little hand to tell the hour, which is at two. Okay, and then who can tell me how many minutes I have? Well, when we start at the 12, we count by fives. Five, 10, 15. So we have 215. Now, I want to know how long it would take us from 215 until 240. Okay, so start at 215, and we want to go all the way until 240. Okay, can you tell me how much time? We start at 2.15, let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so 25 minutes past. Okay, so when we have a start time and an end time, for example, like, we are going to have snack and recess. We're going to start snack at 2.15 and recess. Miss David and Mrs. Peddler would blow the whistle at last recess at 2.40. Well, how much time is that? So we start at 2.15 and we're going to count our five minutes by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. And that's going to get us to 2.40. So 25 minutes it takes us to have snack and to have re last recess. Maybe at home, because you're not at school for last recess, maybe you're at home and you want to watch a movie. And you know the movie is two hours. And we're going to start our movie at four o'clock. And your mom says the movie will finish at six o'clock. Okay, so we start at four. Well, how long does it take to get from four to six? Now I want you to look at four o'clock and six o'clock. What do you notice about the minutes on these? Are you guys here? You guys here? The minutes are the same, they're not changing. But what is changing? The hour. So how much time does it take to get from four to six? Well, we have four o'clock, all the way around. We get five o'clock is one hour. And all the way around, six o'clock is two hours. So two hours went by. So two hours passed by. So if you look at the times and say, wait a minute, the minutes aren't changing, then you can just look at the hours, okay? So my next time, is a 2.30, okay? So the next time is 2.30, so let's get our clock up here. Sixes to 2.30. So the little hand's at the two, and the big hand's down at the six, because it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, right? So we've got 2.30 here. And what if I tell you that your dad won't be home from work until 5.30? Okay, so your dad or your mom, they're out at work, and it's 2.30 now, and you're told that your mom, your dad, maybe your grandma's coming for, well, she wouldn't be coming for a visit now because we're not able to have other people, but let's think about beyond when all this is happening. If grandma was coming for a visit, say at 5.30, okay? So how much time before grandma gets here at 5.30? So we start 2.30, okay? Let's look at our time. Do you notice the minutes are the same? So we both have 30. So that means our minute hand is going to keep, okay, 30. So then we're going to look at the hours. We start at 2 and we go to 5. So do you guys, can you guys count with me? So we have 2.30. 3.30 is 1 hour. 4.30 is two hours. Oops, 
sorry, it got cut a little bit there. 5.30 is three hours. So we count up from two to five. 3.30, 4.30, 5.30. So 3.00. Three hours passed. Okay, now we're going to start at another time here. So we're going to start at 2.45. So I'm going to get my clock at 2.45. So 2 and then I take it over to the 45 mark. Okay, now it looks a little bit like 3 but that's okay. Okay. 2.45. Now, I want to say that we are going to do spelling in our handwriting until 3.10. So 10 minutes past 3. How many minutes will that take us to get from 2.45 to 3.10? Let's go back and see. 2.45, let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25 minutes passed. And remember, when you go over the 12, it's the next hour is going to be. So it wouldn't be 210, it's going to be 310 now. Okay? So you can go and complete exercise 48.